I've been seeing a lot of ads for these very nice looking Theory 11 playing cards. From The Avengers, to Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and James Bond 007. So let's open these up and take a look. This is a very shiny purple and gold Infinity Saga deck box. And damn, it looks nice. Very nice impression so far. Wow, detail, man. So we get the nice Avengers paper tab here. We get two Avengers Theory 11 black cards here. And then we get the actual deck, which has a very nice purple background captain america's shield iron man's triangular arc reactor i believe thor's hammer is that black widow hulk's fist and hawkeye's arrow in a target this is actually some really detailed artwork here these cards feel darn nice it's like a really high quality you can see the textures and i just noticed a little easter egg here from the guardians groot rocket what's her face and Drax, the face of the cards. Woohoo! Of course, Loki would be the Joker. And then we have Thanos as the other Joker. <laughs> okay, there are lots of jokes going around about Thanos and Ant Man, you know? So, this is Doctor Strange's amulet with the eye holding the time stone inside. And this represents the Ace of Spades, and definitely this has to represent one of his spell circles that he makes. So, we just get plain faces for the numbered cards there is extra little detail drawn into the spades ah and then here we get hawkeye and then we get the end game hawkeye with the samurai sword that is actually really cool the fact that they decided to draw him twice so that's really cool and this i believe is gamora she looks the same on both sides captain america with milnir and his shield on the side and so here we have the ace of diamonds it looks kind of wakandian to me so maybe this is from black panther correct me if you know what this is in the comments so here's the little diamond drawing that they use and these are all the numbered cards for the diamonds and it's not till we hit the face cards what is this thanos so I believe this is Thanos, which means I am not sure why they also made him a Joker. I was about to say this is Black Widow, but no, I don't think so. The hands is making me think it's Wanda, but there's a little Ant-Man or the Wasp in the back. And here we have Black Panther, the King of Diamonds. And now we're actually going to go backwards with the King of Clubs. And here we have Thor with both of his weapons, the hammer and the axe. Okay, so this is definitely Black Widow with her batons here for the Queen of Clubs, Star-Lord, which is a jack. Technically, Star-Lord would have made sense as another Joker as well. Oh, that's nice. They made him holding his retro cassette tape for his music. And here's a nice little detail in the clubs. And we have all the numbered cards all the way down to the ace of clubs which this to me reminds me of bucky's arm little red star oh and there we go so we have iron man as the king of hearts he does sure steal a lot of hearts hearts of fans there's his little iron heart using his repulsors on his own head and here's the nano gauntlet and then we have the queen of hearts it's captain marvel oh and spider-man as the jack of hearts i don't think there's any difference between the two sides of his card that looks very nice the spider symbol and now here are all the numbered cards for the hearts ace of hearts which is gamora's dagger Unbalanced, balanced, uh, balanced as all things should be. Yes. And that was all the playing cards in the Avengers deck. Let's move on to Star Wars. Art 2 D2 representing the light side and the Death Star representing the dark side. The blue lightsabers, red lightsabers. Oh, and here we get nice quotes. May the force be with you. And the, the power of the dark side. Luminous beings we are. Now I am the master. 
Oh, sh so at the bottom of the box, the added Disney logo. Oh no, there's a quote on the top, but it's being covered by the nice stickers that they use to seal the decks. I'm pretty sure you can guess what this is. Do or do not, there is no try. And the force is strong with this one. And for the Avengers deck, I'm not sure what this quote actually is. Okay, so it says the Infinity Saga. So it's basically this. So let's start with the light side of the force. Woo! Stay on target, so we get a nice X-Wing and a nice quote from the original trilogy. Wow. I can already tell you, this is a very nice looking blue back. Theory 11, Star Wars with C-3PO. And the same thing on the back, but this time you're traveling light speed. Oh yeah, there's Chewie and R2 as well. So this is the the back of the card. I just noticed it's actually the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon traveling in light speed with R2-D2 on the front of the deck box. Now let's check out these card faces. Wow. <laughs> we have BB-8 as a Joker and we have this other guy as a Joker. I don't remember his name and I honestly don't really care because I did not really like that movie. The Ace of Spades which is Yoda training Luke in the swamps. And this is actually the scene where Yoda pulls the X-Wing out of the swamp water. So that's very cool. Lines on the ace for the number cards. And then reaching the face card. So we have Boba Fett as the Jack of Spades. Then we have Queen Armadala as the Queen of Spades. Seeing some prequels here. And Darth Vader as the King of Spades. Ooh, and then now we have the Slave, which is Boba Fett's starship as the Ace of Diamonds. And here we have the same lines as a design for the diamonds. And moving on to the Jack of Diamonds, we have Lando Calrissian. Then we have Rey as the Queen of Diamonds. And Old Luke as the King of Diamonds. And he has his robotic hand sticking out there. What? And then the King of Clubs is Emperor Palpatine? Is that who this is? I thought this was the light side of the force. Oh yeah, and then we have Lady No One Cares About as the Queen of Clubs. The Jack of Clubs is Kylo Ren. For a second I thought this was only gonna have characters from the light side, but now I'm just realizing it's actually both of these decks might actually have the same face cards. It's just the back that's different. I, I feel like an idiot because like I did not even realize that <laughs> Darth Vader was not part of the light side. <laughs> so Kylo Ren, then we have the numbered for clubs, Darth Vader's TIE Destroyer or TIE Fighter? TIE Advanced? Oh, am I right? So this represents the Ace of Clubs. Pretty sure whatever game you play, once you place this down, you're like, yeah. You ain't defeating unless you got the Millennium Falcon, the King of Hearts. Who's this supposed to be? This is Old Ben. Obi Wan Kenobi. I wonder if he means Old Ben Kenobi. Queen of Hearts is Princess Leia. She's holding the dice cubes from Han Solo, and of course, Jack of Hearts, Han Solo himself. The same line design for all the numbers. And yes, of course, the Millennium Falcon as the Ace of Hearts. What a piece of junk! Oh, and then here's the other end of the card. Where's, like, the droids at? Where's R2 and C-3PO? I feel like there's enough characters to go around where this entire deck could have been only light side characters. And then that entire deck would be only dark side characters. It would have been really nice to have a set deck for each of the trilogies in Star Wars representing just the prequels, the original, and then the sequels. So now we have the red dark side of the force. I have you now. I have you now. What? Ooh. And here we get the same end card. But now we have the red background for the dark side. And let's see, yep. It's the same Joker cards, so this looks like it's all the exact same face cards. Yes, they definitely are. So we have all the same face cards as we did for the other deck. The only difference you have here is the back. 
So next up we have the Mandalorian. Here you can see little baby Yoda or Groku, the nice shiny logo. I forgot the series of numbers and letters to represent this assassin droid. Here we have the nice Mandalorian helmet with the Mandalorian clan symbol and I think this is Bounty, his little ship. And here's Mandal's helmet. Is that the old guy that rides on that creature thing? I have spoken. This is the way. The Theory 11 logo at the bottom. And we have this very nice sticker with little baby on it. Let's see if I can figure out what this quote is. Do you gamble, Mando? It leaves a very sticky residue. And the sticker looks so nice. I actually prefer to keep the stickers on the Razor Crest. Oh, cool. The two clan symbols. Ooh, this one has a nice design on the inside of the box. Oh, almost dropped that one. So here we have the Jawas as the Joker. Oh, wait. I should show the back first. So here we have two of the end cards again. And this is the rear of the card. I really like the color choice. The dark red and green mixed with gray. This is actually very nice. I'm heavily leaning towards only owning the Mandalorian if I only could own one of these decks. The Jawas as the Joker. We have the Sand People, or I like to call them the... Ah, and then we have Baby Grogu here. The Child as the Ace of Spades. The ultimate card to defeat all other cards. To defeat your heart and then we actually don't have any design details in the spades on this set of cards and then for the jack of spades i believe this is a death trooper and then here's a stormtrooper or a higher ranked one at least because it has a red line and then moff gideon or Gus Frings as the King of Spades. And he's holding the Dark Sabers. He's in the show. Oh my gosh. So you see that weird fish blue guy Mandel catches at the beginning of the show. And then for the Jack of Diamonds, I like to call it the bald guy or Bill Burr. And then this is Asian assassin lady chick. And then this is the assassin robot again. The King of Diamonds. And now we have the King of Clubs is one of Mando's buddies, Blacksmith Lady. And then this is, is this supposed to be Boba Fett? Is that supposed to be the little dent in his helmet? And then we have the regular numbered cards. And then for the Ace of Clubs, we have a Stormtrooper Biker Speeder Dude that made us all laugh at the beginning of one of the episodes. Oh uh, yeah, so this is Mando himself as the King of Hearts. Stealing all the heart of the ladies. Because you can see his rifle there on the side. And then for the Queen of Hearts, we have... The Rebel Chick. And then for the King of Hearts, we have Apollo Creed. Cool. And then these are all of the numbered hearts. And then last but not least, we have that old guy that rides that green blue creature thing again. This is probably one of my more favorited decks. I just love the back of this card so much. If the two Star Wars decks here did not include any of the new trilogy characters, then for sure these decks would have been top dog. But I must say the Mandalorian, to me, I think gets that little extra nicer edge to it. And last but not least, we have the Golden Eye, the Golden Gun, the Golden Deck of James Bond 007. If you are a fan of gold, this is dang wicked. 007 James Bond. You can tell here that the quote is going to be Bond, James Bond. So let's open this up. So opening this up, we get... I have no idea what that means. Da -da -da. You gotta love this 007 logo. You get 007. 
and the licensing trademark. And in here we just get the 007 logo. But on the back of the cards, we get this very nice design. Well, this is the secret intelligence. Oh, here we have Bond's secret watch, Martini, a diamond, a secret service emblem. And this basically reminds me of like the ceiling of a royal, the royal palace for the Queen of England. So let's check out the face cards. The same image for both Joker cards and a bunch of symbols representing Bond. We get this very nicely designed Ace of Spades. And then here are all the numbered cards for the spades. No design within the spades. He's holding a secret pen, the queen of spades, and the king of spades holding the golden gun. I do not think these are actual Bond characters, unless they are. This guy surely does not look like a Bond character to me. Woo! So the ace of diamonds, we get his nice watch. Here's all the regular numbered cards. The jack of diamonds is a harpoon. Queen of Diamonds. Actually, these might be Bond characters. Not sure. I can't imagine the King being a character though. Now we're on to the King of Clubs. The Queen of Clubs. Jack of Clubs. They're all holding weapons and rifles. Here are all the numbered cards for clubs. Is this supposed to be a scope? It looks like a sniper scope. And now the King of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the numbers. And lastly, the Ace of Hearts through the gun barrel, just like in the intro of all the James Bond movies. So I don't think the Bond cards are as personalized towards the movies, so it's pretty generic with just generic Bond spy things like guns and gadgets and fancy gold pens. So I hope this gave you a better look to help you decide if you'd like to buy any of these. Whether you actually want to use the cards or you just like to look at them and you want this for a nice collection, they will satisfy both needs. These cards will look just as nice or even nicer than you expect. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.